Hello and welcome back to Renegade Gamers Channel. I'm a Renegade Gamer. We're playing Batman, a Telltale series, The Enemy Within. Hmm. Can't that supercomputer go any faster? It's working on it. All right, so let's go talk to Alfred. He's something he wanted us to tell to say to us. I'm pretty sure it involves Selena. Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. Uh, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. Uh, at any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because... Well, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. So we're going with the Arkham series now. Felt close enough to someone to welcome them into the Batcave. And I'm curious to know why. What is it about her? Not that I'm judging, mind you. Difficult to take it back at this point. But, um, oh, maybe you should keep an eye on the more valuable items down here. She's important to me. I thought as much. Good for you, Bruce. This is a big step. <sighs> it's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. Ah, hello. So, how are you holding up? Well, I'm ready and able to surf. Good. Stay that way. Nice camera shot. Uh, Selena, you coming? Hey. Can't that supercomputer go any faster? Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to investigate this thing alone, or maybe you're going to come over after we start. All right. Okay then. We'll do it that way. I am not a robot. I don't walk like a robot. I don't know what you're talking about. I walk perfectly normal. I am not a robot. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't help it. I shall be upstairs if you need me. Good luck. Look at all this data. Finally, something we can read. Let's see what he knew. Uh... Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. <laughs> Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. God, what is that? Human test subjects? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. Okay. Invoices, schematics, design notes. The fools think they're safe. They're stupider than I thought if they think I'd ever forget what they did. If they think I'd ever... If they think I'd ever for, If they think I'd ever forgive, I'm closing in on them now. I know who their supplier is. And that means I know where they, they moved their twisted operation. They're in Gotham. Hide in plain sight. Well, not for long. E. Okay. Riddler must have been talking about the location of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look at these manifests. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. All right. of 
viral agent from the looks of things. A biological weapon. This is what Harley wants. Agency. The agency. Don't you work with them? Amessa Waller. She runs the agency. Sounds like you owe her a phone call. To what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus, with human test subjects. Bruce? What on Earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... Is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the black site. Hiding in the middle of Gotham, at the Bodhi Spa. Okay. Okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. I'll tell you what I know. Harley was asking if the goggles are ready. I'll go back to the subway, see if I can keep her busy. Thanks, Selena. Benefits of partners. Be safe, Bats. You too. Alright. Off to see Amanda Waller, then. Feel free to take whatever you want. <laughs> the Hive of Villainry. Villainry. Tiffany, that. what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but... I'm sorry, Bruce. This is for your own protection. On the floor, now! On the floor! Now, now. Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Gentlemen, please. You have my full qu- Shut your mouth and stay down! Don't hurt him! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. You lied to me! You need to stand back, or we're gonna have a problem. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect them to be so... violent. I just wanted them to get you away from those nut jobs. It'll be all right, Tiffany. I believe you. What in the... Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. And when you do, there'll be hell to pay. I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Save Officers, it. please. He's involved. He belongs in a cell. This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will. If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Hey. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power, and you know it. Waller! I said... Don't do this! Dismissed. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. Shit.
We'll make sure Gordon leaves and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand how you got tied up in all this. Uh, it's complicated. Agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? <sighs> just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing... It's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous. But there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but you're just... Bruce. I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. Got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad. I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. It was hard to believe. But hearing it from him... The truth is, there wouldn't be a bad man without your father. He made the suit, the Batmobile, the gear, all of it. Bruce. He set the bar pretty high, huh? With Dad gone, maybe I can still help. If Batman is interested, it's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. The way things are going right now, he could use a little help. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. Yeah, I, I need I need allies. <laughs> I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. Damn right. Get in here. Send here. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or failing that to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with black ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good. Long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. We have to think this through carefully. Shit. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the pact at each other's throats, the agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox, but a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. I'm not willing to let anyone die, even them, 
just for the sake of this plan. What it's not a bad plan, though. It's cold calculus, but it's the best way. For now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. You don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. Ah, oh, shit. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Shit. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh... Huh. Project Lotus. This is definitely the place. Bodhi Spa. Good work, Bruce. They weren't exactly being subtle. That access door is connected to the spa. Really? I never would have guessed, Bruce. Uh, I'm actually... was concerned it was like electrified or something. Alright. What are we looking for? Oh. Ah. Okay. see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. Well, give me more time. See what else I can find. Oh, hold up. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. Well, let's see. Okay. Uh... That appears to just be a patron. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. 
Okay, so we're still not done. Ah, hello, patron. They're heading downstairs. The real lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now, why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. Black Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD made you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, they turn. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best to be honest. Lies insult us both. <laughs> this is Harley's secret to get, not mine. Secret? A fourth grader could piece this together. Project Lotus is what we're after. And this is it. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. Well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. What conspiracy? <laughs> Yeah, I guess I do have some explaining Rice to do. and shine. Right. Hurry! Pump your horses! Oh, I pity what you're about to face, Wayne. You had so much going for you, Bruce. But trying to hide your discovery from me. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. And if he had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane! Tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Alright, I uh, guess let's go face the music.
Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? That sort of thing? You need to keep your people in line. Sometimes that means making hard choices. <laughs> such a pretty way of saying killing a person. I hadn't taken you for such a ruthless fella. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there more to the story I should know? Hidden depths? Secrets you want walks. me to see? Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. We all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. Deep to drown, to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe, like nothing could hurt me. I can tell he meant a lot to you. He did, till he blew his brains out. Now, he's just a glimmer in a maggot's belly. Same as we'll all be someday. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black side, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face? Uh, Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh-faced and optimistic. Oh, shit. Are you, Are you threatening her? Oh, take it down a notch, Wayne. Your friend is safe. It's your job to keep her that way. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah. Shaka, we have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you must have missed something. Catwoman and I are loyal. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Spoiler alert. I ain't taking your word for it. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. A oh, shit. Have it. Harley, uh, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know. I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the. the rat. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Again. What? Hit me again. Take that! <laughs> <laughs> You're hitting him already. I'll let it play. <sighs> I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. That woman has to take the fall. Think of 
about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. Shit. Bruce, if she'll stop there. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but this is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. You know Harley. She's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. I gotta guess it was Catwoman. I went to the safe, but it was already gone. And you were right there talking to Harley, so... I know you care about her, but... Yeah. All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. Please. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Now what? Well, Bruce, it's been fun. Bane, get him inside. <laughs> you can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? I got you what you wanted. I found the black side. This ain't about what it was or what you did with it. It's about trust. And I ain't got none for you no more. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica. Well, this is a lousy place to be in. Um, okay. Wow, that was the end of it. Come on, game. You can't just end it right there. Ah, <sighs> shit. Alright, well, Tiffany's honored, and hopefully she isn't killed. Uh. Deceived. Been the mole all along. Justified when he told her need to be dealt with. Furious. Guilt ridden. Advice to manipulate others. Sorry for letting down his hero. He couldn't retreat it. And he feels guilt ridden. Horrified. Oh, Jesus. She's 
swore that I might die, huh? Resist the rest because she, she said after Walter fired him, he feels a little remorseful about trying to arrest you. Okay, good. I wasn't the only one that wandered. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't a minority here. Wow. Yep. I kind of figured I was probably majority there. Yep. Majority there. Alright. Cool. Um. Well, we're in a precarious situation, so I guess when we... Let's go ahead and uh, end this. <clears throat> That's nice. So, when we crank this back up, uh, we'll start episode four, which is. Uh, I don't know what the hell it was called. But, uh, we got a lot of problems to put out. We got, uh, we got John Doe, we got the Harley Quinn, we got. This bio <laughs> biological weapon. Um, we got to save Tiffany. We got to save Catwoman. You know, Jim Gordon and Waller. We got to settle that matter. This, this is oh god, <laughs> it's gonna be a mess. Uh, anyway, so next time we play, we will go through episode four. What ails you? A shocking revelation forces Bruce into a desperate change of plans as the villain's lethal plot escalates. So till then, I'm Randy Gamer. Y'all take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.